Hey everyone, I'm Armazi and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as Arabia. So, let's continue where we left off. We are actually getting pretty close to our first war, because I noticed the unique decision Arabia has to get free camel archers doesn't actually require chivalry, which might be an oversight. I'm thinking this isn't intentional, but it doesn't require chivalry, which means I can get free camel archers as soon as I enter Medieval Era. That's a little bit strong. I'm definitely going to take advantage of that, that's for sure. And I might actually attack Attila first. Just to get rid of him. He has four cities, but if I take his capital, he'll be out of this game, more or less. And his capital is a decent coastal city. It has wheat, it has some pearls. I might actually do that before I attack William. I still got that research agreement with William and I would like to get that before I attack him and I need the declaration of friendship to expire. So I do think Attila is going to be the first target. That also means I need to get the horses ASAP to not get the combat penalty. And I need more research agreements. Let's see, I could get a research agreement with Pakal. I can also get a research agreement with Brazil, but they need more money. They need 300, or at least close to 300, so I can give them more money. Right, I should probably heal the scout a little bit. And let's go get the horses. It doesn't look like my border will expand anytime soon, so I'll just buy this. It's not a big deal. And William spread his religion. So now I have his religion in every single city. Which means all I need right now is Medieval Era. And I need to be at war, but that's not really a problem. Yeah, that's definitely not a problem. Extra production and culture. I will pick this up at some point, but not yet. It will scale up, so I will get more production and more culture later. So I will pick this up, but not yet. It can only be enacted once per era. It does cost a magistrate. And they are in fact limited. I could pick this up twice. Right now and after I enter Medieval Era. Maybe, we'll see. National College is almost done. That's turn 150. What is and now I need the bazaars. The bazaars will give me a lot of money. Because that will give me extra salt, extra marble, and extra copper. And then I can sell that. Now, no open borders. In fact, I can sell... No, I can't sell anything right now. Okay. I still need a camp on that deer. And I should start upgrading my archers to composite bowmen. I'll need more than one melee unit. I might just get a horseman or something. Maybe. I will have one extra horse. After I get the free camel archers. So that's not a bad idea. What about this scout? I could check this area to the south. I could just get open borders with Pakal. Is he at war with anyone? I can try to convince Monty to attack Pakal. Is he going to do it? Oh, he's going to do it for Sven Gold for 10. I might actually accept that. Maybe. He might do it on his own. I think Pakal is his only real neighbor. Yeah, Pakal is his only real neighbor. I think he's going to attack Pakal on his own. I'm pretty sure he will. So I'll just wait for that. No need to spend my money. We got horseback riding. Okay then, I can start moving towards Attila slowly. Can I actually go through here? Sort of. Or I can get open borders with Monty and explore his area. As for the workers, finish the road to Damascus. This will be a camp. And now I'll just wait for the bazaars. And for Medieval Era. Which is going to happen in 9 turns. I'll probably just declare war on Attila immediately. I have to be at war to actually take that decision for the camel archers. 
Production in my capital. Yeah, sure. That will speed up the bazaar a bit. Next. I should have enough happiness for both of these cities. But I might have to build a Colosseum or something. Or get allied with a mercantile city-state. 8 population. I'm running out of decent tiles to work. In fact, I already ran out of decent tiles to work. Need to get more mines. Or another farm. Oh, Mogadishu, alright. Is it allied with Attila? No, it's not. That's good. Next. Also, I'll upgrade the Spearman as soon as I get civil service. He does have quite a few uh, horse archers, but they are no match for camel archers. <laughs> they really aren't. Yeah, they have 10 ranged combat strength. <laughs> they can't even compare to camel archers. But yeah, I'm thinking this is an oversight. The fact the decision doesn't actually require Shivari. Because that makes it very, very strong. Maybe it's not, but in that case, it's quite an overpowered decision. Because you can get to Medieval Era pretty quickly. And you can't get Shivari that fast. Is it done yet? Yep, it's done. Alright, now I have horses. Just need to get... Civil Service. Bazaar is done. I could get a lighthouse here, or maybe an extra worker. I could probably use another worker. Yep. Okay, let's do a few trades. Can we get that research agreement yet? If I give him some money, then I can. I can trade copper for spices. I'm going to need happiness once I take two cities from Attila. I could do some trades with William. I could do a trade with Pakal for some gold. Yep, let's take the gold. One gold per ten. No, I'm not giving you my horses. Forget about it. 250. Okay, that's better. And William. We can sell our copper. That should be three gold per ten, I think. Yep. Done. That's 844. Not bad. I might even buy barracks to recruit some units faster. Maybe. New decisions available. Oh yeah, if I want to pick up the extra production and culture, I need to do it now. Because it will be too late. Soon. I don't think 71 production is worth using a magistrate for. Because you can actually run out of magic trades in the late game. I'm not convinced this is such a great idea. 21 culture is nice. I could unlock honor. And then get warrior code. I wouldn't mind that. That's actually not a bad idea. I might need some citadels in this game. And hey, citadels are always nice. I could go for some of these other decisions, but this, for example, is a little bit too random. I would pay 750 gold for a great scientist and possibly for a great engineer, but I wouldn't pay 750 for a great general or merchant. So no, I'm not going to do that. Okay, let's go for the production and culture, like that. Open borders with Pakal? No, I don't think so. And we're about to get salt from the other bazaar. Now I can sell that too. And I can get research agreement with Brazil. I'll just give them 23 gold. In fact, they can have 23 gold. There we go. Now I can sell salt for 360 gold. Perfect. So, is Monty going to declare war? Let's ask him one more time. Declare war on Pakal. Oh, he's going to do it almost for free. Well, 7 gold per 10 and open borders. I think it's worth 
the price. Seven gold per turn is not that much. Alright, I'm doing it. So, seven gold per turn and open borders. Accept. He needs to slow down Pakal. If he takes Palenque, then Pakal will be pretty much screwed. I need Monty to take Palenque. As for production, Medina, I could use a lighthouse in here. I could also use more units if I want to be aggressive. So let's get the barracks. Okay, barracks. And then I'll get a few more units. This is supposed to be an aggressive game. One more turn, and we can declare war on Attila. I have to declare war first, because I need to be at war to actually pick up that decision. That's the requirement. And now I can get more culture and more production if I want to, at the cost of one magistrate. I might do it. Maybe later, once I start recruiting some units. I don't have to do it immediately. Let's declare war then. Can I get Brazil to join the war? That would potentially be useful. Hola? Let's declare war against Attila. Nope, he declined. Can I bribe him to go to war with Attila? Nope. And what about William? Can I get him to declare war? Nope. Bribe him. I could try to bribe Attila to declare war on someone, and then oh, I can yeah. declare war on Attila myself. Just to have a common enemy with some thieves. Okay, he will do it for horses. Seven gold per ten. Right, I can get him to declare war on either Brazil or William. William is a little bit too far away, but I could get him to fight Brazil. It will cost me some money, but... It will make it easier to stay very friendly with Brazil. And he might lose a few units. And Brazil can be a threat in the long run too. Because culture victory. Alright, I'm doing it. I'll let them fight for a turn or two. Research element with Pakal? No, I think I'll pass. It's tempting, but no. If Monty manages to take Palenque, it's actually not a big deal getting a research agreement with Pakal. Oh, he spent his money. Okay, whatever. Let's keep exploring. As for this guy, grab a camp and finish the road. Very nice. Let's declare that war then. Maybe I can convince William now. Let's try. Let's declare war against Attila. No, he won't do it. Okay, I'll do it myself then. Declare war. That's his trade route, not mine. Alright, go. Does that mean I can sell something? No. And now I can pick up the decision. So, that will give me a great general and three camel archers, with 27 additional experience. That's pretty damn good, and I'm not quite close to having Shimare yet. Yeah, I think that the fact this decision doesn't require Shimare is an oversight. Because it's pretty damn good. Being able to get three camel archers this early is quite overpowered, I would say. Attila will get wrecked. Yeah, 21 ranged combat strength with a great general supporting them. He doesn't stand a chance. I'm looking forward to this. As for promotions, I think I'll go mostly for barrage on all of them. Okay, let's grab barrage. There are a lot of jungles and forests on this map, so I have a feeling barrage will be useful. Scout? No, I don't want to move him like this. Why would I want that? The road is done. I need a few more improvements in this general area. We'll get a mine over there. I could get a farm, but I think I prefer production. 
ultimately I will probably send a cargo ship with food from Mecca to Medina and vice versa. In fact, I should get a cargo ship immediately after the worker. Yeah. This will be an awesome trade route, and a very safe one. It's unlikely to get pillaged by anyone. What do you think you're doing, attacking my units? That's not very nice. Yeah, this is going to be amazing. Move that great general. And I need to upgrade the spearman. The only problem I have right now is that I only have one melee unit. So if this guy dies, I'll be kind of screwed. Fortunately, he has cover one. That will be helpful. I could get some melee units without experience. Possibly. I can always get that horseman and buy horses from other civilizations to get more camel archers. Possibly. I don't have barracks in my capital. No, I don't. I'll just be careful with that pikeman. Hey, I could just buy a unit. I could buy a unit after I finish barracks. That's probably the best way to go. That will give it some experience at least. This will be a mine, I think. Yeah. Production. As for the worker, I can get another mine right here. How are Tyler's assignments in Mecca? Seems pretty bad. Yeah, this guy is just bad. I can work the bazaar slot, but I don't really want a great merchant. Great merchants are not awful, but they share the point pole with great engineers and great scientists. That's the main reason I don't like them too much. I just need more improvements near this city. Alright. Open borders with Brazil. I see no reason to accept that. And open borders with William? No, not really. Come on, Attila. Let's have some fun. Okay, he has quite a lot of crap in there. I need him to move towards me slightly. Or I need to use a heal. Like this one. But I need these units to move towards me slightly. So maybe on the next turn. I'm not in a huge massive rush. Get the shrine and change Tala Sanamans here. Yep. Work the fish. Next. Well, he's not moving towards me. I can move towards him. I can move, fire and then move again. I just need to have enough movement points to do that. So let's see. I can move in like this. Then shoot this guy. Oh yeah, I should have moved my great general. Towards that other camel archer. Yep. He doesn't stand a chance. I almost feel sorry for him, but not quite. Actually, not at all. <laughs> Let's see. This guy. And heal up the composite bowman. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm going to really enjoy this. Also, I will start recruiting more camel archers as soon as I get Shibari. How's the research queue anyway? Oh, I just stole something. Guilds! No? Oh, I can't see what I can steal, really? That's pretty annoying. I hate that glitch. And I am using the most recent version of Enhanced User Interface. Well, I was able to steal guilds. That's useful because that's required for Shibari. I kind of need education. But I could go directly for Shivari right now. Still, education first. I already got three camel archers. And we're getting some promotions already. Good. Let's do some more damage. Yeah, I'll get plus one range and or logistics in no time. Logistics will be first, obviously. So attack this guy. Attack him again, back up. And we'll just wait. For them to move towards me. Maybe block their way with that pikeman. But not yet. 13 turns to steal something from Brazil. Good. I'll just keep my spider. And another promotion. Yeah, barrage will be awesome here. I'm taking advantage of it constantly. This is a bit of a one-sided war. 
Can I kill that guy? Nope. But he can't attack me on the next turn. I also can't move through here with my pikemen. <laughs> and I'll need open borders with Russia if I want to keep scouting. He's not allied with Mogadishu, is he? No, he's not. Just checking. Peace city? No, I don't think so, buddy. You want my cities? Yeah, let's reverse that deal. William is plotting against me, apparently. That's okay, I'm doing the exact same thing. Okay, barrage again. I think it's safe to stay here as long as I kill that pikeman. So, like that. Barrage again. Now, I can move back. Like this. Attack that guy. Attack him again. And now I can block the way with my pikeman. Get open borders with Russia. I'll just shade open borders. Oh, she won't actually accept, really? She wants money for open borders? Okay. Wow. That's not a good deal at all, but I kind of want open borders. Okay, I bought open borders for 2 gold per turn. Not convinced that was a good deal, but at least I can keep scouting. Next. He does actually have trebuchets, but they aren't going to help him all that much. I'm just saying. Who are the research agreements? 12 turns. Okay, so I will get education in 12 turns. Let's see. Kill that guy. What? He's not dead? Now he is. Might have been a mistake. But that trebuchet in the back can't attack my pikemen. Let's see. Best way to handle this. I'd like to kill this guy, if possible. Which I probably can. Yes, I can. What? One hit point? Great. I hate when that happens. I could kill him with my camel archer, but I would prefer to hit a better target. I could actually hit this guy, but then I would be able to move back. Or I could hit the trebuchet. Which is also fine. He might use heal instantly or something obnoxious like that. Okay, I'll hit the trebuchet. As for production, we got the barracks. I could just get more pikemen. That works. Some melee units. Any melee units. Another farm. Well, not much I can do to kill that pikeman. I'll just chill in the back. Declaration of friendship with William again. I'll pass on that one because he's going to be my next target. And I don't think I have the time to wait. The research agreement will trigger in 11 turns. That's mostly what I need to wait for. Okay, now I might want to move that composite bowman before he gets killed. Seems like a good idea. Attack that trebuchet. Like so. And attack this trebuchet. Move back so that the pikemen can't attack me. And keep exploring the area. Looks good. This is going to be an amazing experience. I should get a second great general sometime soon as well. That's always going to be useful for some citadels and things like that. Okay, now I have to back up for sure. Let me kill that pikeman first. Can we do that? No, apparently not. Okay. What if I do it like this? Yep, he's down. Now I can move the pikeman out of the way. I wouldn't want him to get killed. That's technically my only melee unit at the moment. More farms. And it's still safe to stay here. Kind of. It should be. I think it's safe. Back up. This is a grassland. Yeah, camel archers are very mobile. I can just back up and play it safe to avoid taking any damage. He's just sending all these units to get slaughtered. Because that's what it is. He doesn't stand a chance. Not against free camel archers. 
But let's play it safe. I think I'll just back up two tiles. Wouldn't want to lose any of these units. Now we can do it like this. And hit the trebuchet. Destroy the trebuchet. Well, I'm guaranteed to destroy this one, so that's better. Keep moving. Caravan to William. I have to send it somewhere. So, I suppose I'll send it to William for now. Production. That was a shrine. A little bit of extra happiness. I could get a workboat. To get more food. I suppose I'll need that sooner or later. So, preferably sooner. And change these assignments slightly. Well, the city is going to grow on the next turn. So, keep working the... Copper mine. Oh, perfect. Yep. Obviously accept that. Sistine Chapel. Is Monty actually winning? I need Monty to win this. They are still at war. Would be nice to convince Sweden to attack Pakal as well. I have a lot of money. No. He won't have any of it. Alright. What about Russia? Russia has a city. A little bit close to Pakal. No, Russia won't do it either. Alright. I hope Monty can actually do something about this then. What's his army anyway? Let's check military manpower. Yeah, he's not that strong, but Pakal is extremely weak. Yeah, Pakal is the weakest sieve in the game right now. In terms of military strength. Is it safe to attack this? Should be. There we go. And... Let's try this one. Nah, I risk having two trebuchets very low on health. So kill that. Back up. We got the cargo ship. I could send it to a city-state. I actually have a mission quest for a trade route. I can't kick Pakal out of the city, but it's a cultured city-state. It would be worth getting that. Maybe. Or I could send 8 food to Medina. I think I prefer gold for now. And a little bit of extra culture. I'd like to get at least the first policy in honor. Without having to delay rationalism too much. Also, what about that tile? I can work that with Medina. Like this. I'll just redo these real quick. This goes here. And this guy can work the mine. Now that the cargo ship is done, I can get barracks. I could also get a writer's guild. That's only 7 turns. And it would be nice to get some tourism and some culture. My army is doing just fine right now. <laughs> I'll get more units once I get Shivari. Rip. Looks like Attila is running out of units to throw at me. Time to go on the offensive. Kill these guys up, obviously. I could back up, but nah, they can stay where they are. Can't move through here properly without embarking. This should be easy now. I'll just take Attila's court and Tamwin. I should have enough happiness for it, considering Attila's cord has pearls. Can't sell anything. So, honor. I could go for exploration and then pick up maritime infrastructure. Every city I got is coastal. And Attila's cord is coastal. But I want honor. Honor opener is not that useful for me right now, but warrior code is. Yeah, I think I'll go for honor. I might even have the time to get a military tradition. Screw it, let's get honor. Did anyone build statue of Zeus? Yes. Oh, I think that was Attila, was it? No. Who built it then? Oh, it was Monty, wasn't it? No? Who the heck built it then? I don't even see it. What is it? 
Oh, Sweden built it. Right, Sweden went full honor. So can I get Sweden to attack Pakal yet? That would be nice. I just want to get rid of Pakal. Nope, I can't. Oh, okay, Monty is attacking Palenque. If Monty manages to take Palenque, I won't have to worry about Pakal at all. He is the tech leader, but he has the weakest army right now. It might be because Monty killed his units. I could see that happening. Right, let's get rid of that. I can move in and attack, but I want... No, I can't. That's not enough points. Okay. Well, back out then. 10 population. And I still don't have Shibari yet. <laughs> so, as I mentioned earlier, being able to get free Camel Archers this early is a little bit overpowered. I still think that's a bit of an oversight. That it doesn't require Shibari. Now I can start attacking the city. I can just move in, take a shot at the city and move out without ever taking any damage with my Camel Archers. <laughs> so he doesn't stand a chance. This will be slightly one-sided. Like that. Like this. I just need to bring a melee unit. But this guy is still healing. Okay, get out of there. Move out, move out. I could buy a melee unit. I might also buy universities to focus on military. Yeah, I need to think about what's more efficient. Actually building universities and buying units, or recruiting units and buying universities. Buying universities means more science faster. So that's probably a better plan. In any case, this part is done now, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.